state of New Jersey has been funding family planning services, which is an investment in women's health, since the 70s. This year, for the first time, Governor Christie, because of his ideology, turned his back on the women in the state of New Jersey and eliminated that funding. These clinics are not only for women, although they do serve 136,000 women, but they include some men, and of course it's for families. These women that lost their jobs, that can afford insurance, uh, whether they have insurance or, or they don't have that type of coverage, they can go for proper screenings, they can go for mammographies, uh, diabetes screenings, and other services that is vital to a women's health. What's happening now is that we have centers that are closing. What's happening now is that we have centers that are short shortening their hours. And they're not saying, let's do more with less. They're not opening their doors at, for an extended period of time to allow easy access and access for women. So if, if there is a test or a screening that they need, they won't have it. If there is uh, birth control that they need, they won't get it. And so their quality of life will, will now be in danger. And what we're doing is we're asking for the governor to look at this from the aspect of funding, not the ideology, and be able to fund health care for women in the state of New Jersey. We're putting legislation in front of him that requires his signature so he can prove that it's not about ideology. If he turns his back on these pieces of legislation, then it'll just be a, it'll underscore what we sadly already know, which is that this governor has turned his back on the women of the state of New Jersey and doesn't trust women to make health care decisions and reproductive uh, decisions about uh, in, their, in their lives. It's this basic. If a woman um, has uh, limited access to good health care, uh, she is not in control of her life. There's no doubt that we're facing economic challenges, but again, we found the money, and I think we can afford something like $16 a person to save someone's life.